الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam sought refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from knowledge which was not beneficial and as we mentioned on more than one occasion things like shirk things like magic things like knowledge that will not benefit you in this life nor in the hereafter bid'a zambaqa ilhad all of these things all any and all forms of deviance and sinfulness will not benefit you in this life nor in the next it will only harm you wa fi sunan ibn maja an jabir ibn abdullah radiyallahu anhu qala qala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sallu sallu allah ilman nafi' wa ta'awudhu billah من علم لا ينفع جابر بن عبد الله رضي الله تعالى عنه said that the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said ask Allah for beneficial knowledge and seek refuge in Allah from knowledge which has no benefit and that's in Sunan Ibn Majah وقال رحمه الله فالعلم كما قال حسن البصري حسن البصري رحمه الله تعالى المان حسن البصري has stated رحمه الله تعالى that knowledge is of two types علم اللسان فذاك حجة على ابن آدم ابن آدم وعلم في قلب فذاك علم النافع so Hassan al-Basri رحمه الله تعالى he said that knowledge is of two types knowledge of the tongue and this knowledge will be a evidence or a proof against the son of Adam and knowledge in the heart and this is beneficial knowledge ثم قال فالعلم النافع هو ما باشر القلب فأوقر فيه معرفة الله وعظمته وخشته وإجلاله وتعظيمه ومحبته ومتى سكنت هذه الأشياء في القلب خشع فخشيت الجوارح تبعا له In this narration Hassan al-Basri رحمه الله تعالى He went on to say So knowledge is of two types Knowledge of the tongue And this is a evidence or proof Against the son of Adam And knowledge in the heart And this is beneficial knowledge Then he said That beneficial knowledge it is that which touches the heart and it establishes knowledge of who Allah is and His greatness and establishes fear of Him and His supremeness and His eminence and love for Him and when this knowledge is established or when these things are established in the heart it will have khashya. And then the limbs will follow by having this humility and this uh, fearfulness as well. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and to bless us with ilm nafiya, ruskin tayyibu, amalin mutaqabbilin and hearts that are open and hearts that have khashya, that are that, that have khushur and humility before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our prayers and in all our actions, hearts that are aware and that have ihsan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of all our sins and bless us with jannatul fardos. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.